I, I think that it would not be a controversial thing to say that there has been racism in, in the, the art world. You will not be able to stay home, brother. You will not be able to plug in, turn on, and cop out. You will not be able to lose yourself on stag and skip out for beer during commercials because the revolution will not be televised. The revolution will not be televised, will not be televised, will not be televised. The revolution will be no rerun, brothers. The revolution will be live. We've had the traditional belief that the only thing that comes to us from that culture, the uh, black belt culture of the South, is their music. No, my man is milk cow, Lord, buddy. Where that help below? If you see my milk cow, buddy. If you see my milk cow, drive or do so away. Well, I tried so hard, my mama, but I just couldn't get along with you. And I'm not aware that anything like this has happened historically in, in, in the history of the world. That is, a slave population which survives as an ex-slave population and then creates its own cultural identity out of thin air, out of its own experiences. I've seen a lot of stuff lately, I'll tell you the truth. This is the <laughs> high and wide taking the rats to the man. This is the yeah. slave ship bringing Mickey Mouse in chains. Oh, man. And it does it in secret. Yeah, I'm the type of guy, I didn't like to be questioned too much, and uh, I never like to talk too much about my art and stuff. And that's going to turn out to be America's great contribution to the visual arts of the world. Oh, oh freedom, oh, freedom, oh, freedom, after a while, after a while. And before I be a slave, I'll be buried in my grave. And go home to see my Lord and be free. That's all right. Go. <laughs> African American culture, especially in the South, was categorized in certain ways. Folk, primitive, naive, self taught. The, the one that I just gets me boiling, man. I think the most offensive term to me, and it always has been, is outsider. Outsider art. The question outside what? Outside of what? In, in Europe, the term is used primarily to refer to the uh, artwork made by mental patients. Art that truly finds acceptance in the world is simply called art. We decided that we would pick it. There were about 30 of us, and of course the police came and they surrounded us with horses and everything right in front of the Met. And I still remember seeing the people at the Met looking at the, at the window with their noses pressed up again. They could not believe, because this was like a uh, protest in St. Patrick's. I mean, this was so sacred. I mean, the, the protest at Met. We only use what? Six percent of our brain. The papers, especially like the New York Times, is the one that sells artwork. That, that, that paper sells basic artwork. They, they, they build something up. That's common sense. And then they tear it down. When he reversed his opinion, he used the word folk. You see, that is the most absolutely uh, Western colonialist word that you can possibly choose to describe this artwork. But of course, it's class, too. I always say anybody black who's got a PhD that means that Europe and white folk have been messing with their mind for about 20 years. They, they wouldn't even look at a work by, say, Thornton Dial and consider it uh, art worthy of the museum. Face with the mountain of ideas, another night time ends, another day begins. I was uh, documenting, researching black culture in the South. Tell them about the axe blades. What are they there for? Storms. And, and uh, there were a lot of people who were major collectors who had been uh, practically stealing this stuff. Bill actually doing things that Martin Luther King did. He was a healthy man when he first started. I reckon he'd lose his head over us. And Martin Luther King didn't just die for one, he died for all, see. As I recall, I got a phone call 
from someone at CBS. I found that piece to be incredibly condescending. They portrayed him as this simple old black man who was being led around, which he is not. It was devastating to him. I mean, you can be imbecilic in your own time and space, but don't inflict it on me. If you don't find him out, you know who gonna find him out? Huh? God. You only live once, and you die, you what? You dead. And now we see that all along, alongside the music, there was this uh, uh, genuine, uh, sophisticated tradition of visual art also, which probably went on to influence major modernist artists uh, like Robert Rauschenberg and maybe Jackson Pollock. People are stealing, I think, across the history of so-called modernism. You constantly read, they just paid, you know, for a Rauschenberg, you know, $12 million, $14 million. <laughs> I made satisfaction. You know, you, you do things for satisfaction. Is questioning, making us question um, what you see in museum and who decides what gets there. And it asks all of us um, about genius, you know, and where does it reside? I can see a lot of stuff, man, in life. Pretty smart man. Remember your past or your future will be missed.